Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. As you can see, I'm in a different location. Well, actually, I don't know if you can hear that kookaburra. I'm in a beautiful location. Um, I'm on holiday at the beach. And you'd be saying, why are you on reading, Marianne? Well, I'm on here reading uh, because you, the viewers, are so generous and kind. And I've made such lovely connections that it makes me want to get out of my living room um, here at the beach before we go to the beach today for a swim and uh, do a reading because I know there's a critical vote coming up in the um, in the Senate uh, on Friday. It's actually Friday here in Australia so I, I'll keep this reading short but we'll go out on a limb and we'll see what those senators are going to vote. Now I haven't styled my hair, I, am, I don't have a lot of makeup on um, but here I am. Okay, so um, before I opened up this reading, what I saw was literally 30 pieces of, well, actually it was gold, not silver, 30 pieces of gold. And that was being doled out to the senators. So, well, to people. I don't know if it was the senators. Um, there's my kookaburra there, if you can hear it. Um, and he's laughing, and what an apt way, what an apt time to laugh. Um, I feel that the, the campaign finances, uh, their re-election prospects were, um, were covered uh, in this, what I saw, um, this gold that was being doled out, <laughs> funnily, that's on the bottom of the deck. Um, but the interesting, so I thought, yeah, they're not, they're not going to vote. They're, they're, they're go sorry, they're going to vote to acquit this president or not to hear any more um, uh, witnesses and documents, which are, which really will amount to an acquittal. Um, but then the interesting image that I saw after that was that this gold was being flushed down the drain. Now, I can take that a couple of ways. It, in, in other words, it wasn't going to do them any good because it was being, it was just being flushed away, flushed down the drain. Um, it, it was never going to come to fruition for them. By that I mean that uh, those senators uh, are in danger of losing their spot in the Senate. Um, their re-election prospects may have been covered by this, these campaign, uh, this campaign finances, uh, but it's not going to do them any good at the end of the day. Or the other interpretation of that image is that somehow uh, we're going to see a surprise. Uh, something's going to surprise us. Now I don't know which. Um, I, I really did debate reading on this topic today because, quite frankly, I'm feeling fairly deflated about the prospects of um, bringing forward uh, witnesses and documentation. Um, but the American voters are jumping out at me as well. So then again, I come back to this. They might win the, the battle, but not the war. All right, let's see what the cards are going to say. Bearing in mind that I have to declare <laughs> that emotionally I'm kind of feeling, you know, I, I, I just have such bad memories of the Kavanaugh trial, uh, which emotionally scarred me, um, that I'm, I'm really wondering if these GOP senators will do the right thing. Apparently they have possibly three votes, possibly four um, they're now talking about what if Justice Roberts has to make a t the tie break. Um, and this again uh, saddens me that people are still thinking that these senators will do the right thing. And it, when they don't, or if they don't, they're going to be bitterly disappointed. Uh, and this is why I kind of didn't want to read today, because I'm feeling like we've seen what the GOP can do. We understand the fact that they're bringing through these arguments which are nonsensical, we understand what they're capable of, do we really think they're going to vote to bring Bolton on the stand? But that's me, that's not my intuitive me. So let's see where um, the 30 pieces of gold uh, and the flushing of that gold down the drain, let's see where that will lead us. So let's have a look. Will the, will the GOP senators vote? to bring in witnesses and documentation, including Bolton. I think it's 70% want to see Bolton on the stand. That's right across the board. Republicans, Democrats, uh, will the GOP vote for witnesses, vote for witnesses and documentation? Will the GOP senators vote with the Democratic Party for witnesses 
and documentation in the Trump trial. Okay, let's see what we're going to pull. <laughs> so we've got a lot of anxiety uh, at the moment that could be on the part of the senators, that could be on the part of, um, you know, even Bolton, who um, I now understand has been, uh, has received a letter from Trump and his counsel, um, and uh, they're saying you can't publish that book. Um, we'll see. Anxiety generally, it could be on the part of Mitch McConnell, wondering whether or not he does actually have those votes. So let's keep going and see what, what we can see. Challenged by the wish fulfillment card. Um, so this is almost, uh, I feel that this card is for Donald Trump. We'll, we'll ask a supplementary question. How confident is he feeling? Um, his anxiety is being challenged by this uh, wish fulfillment card how many senators has he got in his pocket, I feel. Um, so he's not sure, and neither is McConnell at this point. They're not, they're not sure. Um, originally, and things do change, and this is, what, this is um, where free will comes into play. Uh, I can read on something two or three weeks ago and then read on it again in two weeks and get a different result. Uh, and, and even today we could be surprised. Let's have a look. Okay, the foundation of the reading is New Starts and The Fool. And this card came up uh, a lot around the Kavner, um, the Kavner readings as well. And I took that as the GOP being foolish to themselves because what happened straight after Kavanaugh was the outrage was such that uh, the, mid, the House was lost by the Republicans in the midterms. However, New Starts. New Starts are the foundation of the reading. In the past, we've got celebrations. There's certainly been plenty to celebrate and also plenty to commiserate in the um, since uh, the move by the House to impeach the President. He is impeached. He will remain impeached, regardless of, of what the pres uh, of what the Senate will do. So this, but this is also joining together, circling around the President to give him support during uh, during this trial. Now, this is interesting because we have in the potential future the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak and loss. Who is that heartbreak and loss for? So I'm being very careful here, you might, uh, you might know. I'm not going to jump to conclusions and say, oh, that's for, that's for, the, um, that's for Trump. Although I was talking about Trump, uh, that could also be for us. We have the chariot, things coming forward very, very quickly in the near future now. We're right here now, Friday in Australia, nearly your Friday. Whatever happens after this, either that trial's going to meet a speedy end, they'll vote to acquit him pretty well straight after, or we're hearing from witnesses and it's a game changer and things start to accelerate. In the here and now, we've got the Four of Wands, and this is celebration. This is my card for the Democrats. I do feel that they are in a strong position at this point, the environment around is the star. Uh, and of course, we know the star is hope uh, and uh, really um, a positive intention. But it's a bit more than that. It's actually a precursor for a win. Um, OK, let's keep going. <laughs> the hopes and the fears. Well, the hope is the hope sitting right across, right up top of the star card is is temperance temperance rebalancing and healing now i've got a sun card here so that would indicate to me that there is a possibility although we've got six of wands movement that there is a possibility that there will be witnesses called and we have the king of cups okay which again is my card for um uh people like adam schiff uh, a more benign energy, moving away from from this king of uh, king of pentacles energy, um, to incorporate uh, more of more of this type of energy, a loving, firm, nurturing, uh, almost parental energy, um, as characterised and contrasted with the king of cups. Now, at the base of the reading, we have the five of Pentacles. That is loss, and I'd like to interpret that as loss of public faith in the GOP. And why? Because Russia is involved, uh, and there is a, a disappointment 
generally and we have the Trump organization or money, big money um, donors coming, money coming from Russia and we have the moon card which we always see coming through. Now um, whenever we talk about Trump and Russia. Um, the latest news is that uh, Rudy Giuliani's legal bills uh, have probably been paid by, well, not probably, have been paid uh, by, allegedly, <laughs> by a Russian oligarch. Um, may, possibly Furtash, who knows? We, um, the payment was made to Parnas, Lev Parnas, and Parnas paid Giuliani. Giuliani then did the work um, for Trump as Trump's legal Council. Now, originally he said he was doing that pro bono. We now find out that Parnas has actually paid him, who was financing Parnas, uh, an oligarch. Um, we'd like to bet that that oligarch has ties to, uh, to Vladimir Putin. In other words, if you break that down, who was financing Trump's work to... Um, hijack to get the smear on uh, the dirt on Joe Biden to help him win the election, none other than we can tie it back to uh, Russian uh, money, perhaps, perhaps, or oligarchs, Russian oligarchs, Ukrainian oligarchs with ties to Russia. Again, history repeating itself. Now, what is this Senate going to do? It would appear with this sun card, I asked, were they going to vote for witnesses and documents? The sun card is telling me yes, but that's going against the image that I got, that they may have been paid off. However, that gold was being flushed down the drain. Can I have some clarity, please? Can I have some clarity on the sun card? Is this indeed, it's a yes card, it's the strongest yes in the deck. Uh, is this... Something's flowing out. Well, we've got three cards flowing out and we've got double validation. We've got the sun card. We have loss, someone's loss, and, and a lot of hysteria around the loss as well. Uh, and we have eight of pentacles work. Um, bringing in the money, it's going to be hard work. Um, all right, we'll just put that in the back of your mind. I, as, as, I, as I said, I'm going to be careful with this reading. Um, all right, so... Let's have a look. Uh, will they vote? Will they vote for witnesses? Will they vote for witnesses and documents? All right, let's just say, will they vote for witnesses? Will they vote for witnesses? Okay. So we've got uh, perhaps um, some kind of stalling here. Um, would it be a tie? Is that what we're looking at? Will they vote eventually? Will they vote for witnesses? Okay, judgment, something ending, okay, something coming to an inevitable end. <laughs> I can feel the tension in the cards. Will they vote? Will the GOP um, and the Democrats, will the Senate vote to hear from witnesses? Okay. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords. Um, now, that's somebody's downfall, and that's also being uh, someone being stabbed in the back. It is a no card though, um, but this card has come forward in uh, my past readings um, indicating that these senators may, some of them may turn on the uh, the King of Pentacles, turn on Trump. Now this is the King of Cups. I'm pulling these cards time and time again. Um, the same cards, the Queen of Wands, uh, motivation to see, to see the unseen. Um, this Queen of Wands and the Chariot again. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb, bearing in mind um, that there is some ambiguity in uh, in what I'm seeing. I feel, even though I, I my, in my heart, my heart tells me they probably won't vote for witnesses, um, this Sun card, the King of Cups, the Chariot card coming up fairly, uh, fairly um, uh, in the immediate future, is telling me that they might. It is telling me that they that that they might vote for uh, someone like Bolton to come through. If they do that, they're going to want uh, they're going to want Hunter Biden on the stand as well. Now we've got this three of swords. Um, let me see this heartbreak and loss. Who's this for? Is this three of swords for Donald Trump? 
is this three of swords for Donald Trump? Okay, the King of Wands are the lawmakers. It's for the lawmakers themselves. And we've got the Devil, Greed and Avarice. And we've got Mother Russia. Regardless, I'll leave that there because regard that particular question, because regardless of the outcome, regardless of whether they vote for witnesses or, witnesses or not, there is heartbreak and loss for the senators, no matter which way they go. Okay. So expect surprises. This is where I've come out. <laughs> Possibly, it's within the realm of possibility to expect something, uh, a surprise outcome here. Um, regardless of what the outcome is, there's going to be loss for these senators at the end of the day because that those 30 pieces of gold have are, are being flushed down the drain. So ultimately in the future, they will mean, they will amount to nothing. They will mean nothing. So one last question. Let's see how Trump's feeling, how confident Trump is feeling. So <laughs> there's my reading. While I'm on holidays, before I'm going to the beach, um, there you have it. Um, so use your own intu intuition. Um, please don't be disappointed if they don't vote for witnesses. Please don't be disappointed if he's acquitted. Um, we kind of knew that that was on the cards. Um, we've seen it all before, but there's a lot more at stake. So do expect surprises. Do expect surprises. Okay. And uh, if it's not during this trial, it'll be shortly after. But I'm going to say that Sun card was there. I asked, will they call for witnesses and documentation? I got the Sun card, which is a yes. So I'm just going to go with that interpretation at this point, even though my heart <laughs> is feeling they probably won't. Okay, so let's have a look at how, how is Donald Trump feeling? How is Donald Trump feeling? How is Donald Trump feeling today in front of the vote? Um, given that he's done so much calling around and obviously saying, well, you'll get plenty of campaign finances in my, from my super fund, super PAC fund. Uh, we'll look after you. Um, we'll, we'll make sure we run the fight, you'll get re-elected. Um, how is he feeling? How confident is Donald Trump feeling? How confident is Donald Trump feeling? Okay. We have the magician actualizing something into reality. So, you know, silly question. He does feel confident. Um, this jumped out as well. The lawmakers are uh, the lawmakers. Okay, so let's just bear that in mind. I think it also comes down to who has the authority here. If they do vote to acquit Donald Trump, if they do... Um, uh, if they don't bring in witnesses, they don't bring in uh, documents, if it is the sham trial we think that it's going to be, or we've seen that it is, then um, uh, that's really handing the co power of the Congress over to um, the president, executive privilege. So these lawmakers will be setting a precedent, and that a precedence for future presidents to go by, to refer to, uh, to enact. Uh, so that's just jumped out. That's That card has just jumped out. So um, what's challenging the magician um, and the um, actualizing something into reality is uh, the crossroads. And also uh, this is when people have to make a decision. Uh, heavy forces are weighing on them. It can be a compromise card as well. Okay. Foundation of the reading, you can't make this up, can you? You really can't. Even in this beautiful coastal environment, um, we're still we're still seeing the reality of this American president's tenure abuse of power. Okay, so he's he's pretty he's pretty comfortable because he's uh, he's done things the way he normally does things. Now, in the past, we have the money, and it's look, it is sitting alongside the lawmakers card. You'll be right. Campaign finances. Your campaign will be taken care of. However, in the um, possible future, the potential future, what's crowding this reading is the Ten of Cups, which is my card for the American voter. What we see uh, in the immediate future for Donald Trump is restriction. 
Okay. Right now we've got chariot. Now that's interesting because that came up as the potential future uh, in the immediate future. Things really getting out of control, things speeding forward. This is how he's feeling. You know, he's unable to control one bombshell after the next after the next. Um, will these lawmakers support him? The environment around that is the world card. Uh, so his shadow foreign policy. He, um, yeah, you know, people wonder why an Australian is doing these readings, and particularly on their holidays. Um, and that is because uh, his, his impact is not just in America. Uh, he's right there in the Middle East, released a Middle Eastern plan, which is just really a, a, um, a, th a thuggery, um, a, a beat up of the Palestinians it's like they've been cornered in an alley and beaten up or they're about to be beaten up the plan uh, the plan <laughs> reduces their territory gives Jerusalem to Israel takes away this virtually takes away their sovereignty um, doesn't allow them to have an army or military or any of the other things uh, the things that uh, countries have to protect their their sovereignty um, and yeah it's 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 really a horrible plan. It really is a horrible plan. Uh, and it's interesting that the Jewish uh, people, led by Netanyahu, who, who, who the Israeli Prime Minister up on corruption charges, are really wanting to um, put a race of people uh, into this kind of um, containment, uh, given that the part, in the past that's what other uh, countries have sought to do to uh, to Jews. So um, the irony of Trump is uh, tenfold, I feel. Um, and the Middle Eastern plan with Jared Kushner um, basically saying, look, we're giving you 50 billion, we're buying you off, take the money, take the money. Okay, so uh, I do digress. Uh, hopes and fears. Um, he fears more whistleblowers. He fears John Bolton's book, and it's not just John Bolton, Bolton's book. He doesn't know who's coming out of the woodwork. Um, now, the lovers, okay, so he ultimately feels he will be triumphant. Uh, he feels that he has um, the deals. He's done the, done the job. Um, he's done uh, what he has done in the past to shore up a deal, and he's quite confident of the outcome. Uh, we have temperance, though, uh, and let's see what's clarifying her, um, the money. Uh, but this is also, this is also, um, uh, can be my card for national security. So, um, again, there could be a few surprises there because we've got the American voter as the potential future. Underneath, we have the Empress card, Mother Russia. We have the Queen of uh, wands seeing what is going on and seeing the deception. So Knight of Wands, uh, sorry, Knight of uh, Pentacles and Anxiety. I feel that Donald, let me just bring you down so you can see this card. I feel Donald Trump, there is more to come out regarding somebody that is connected to him and uh, who's uh, whose work they were doing. Is this um, Lev Parnes, who was finance, financing him uh, because we've got Russia here. So I feel this whole Ukraine um, matter will eventually, when the truth eventually comes out, and it will because we've got our Queen of Wands, um, she will push things forward. Um, we are being deceived, uh, and we've got this Nine of Swords. The... Um, the I guess the focus of the Ukraine, the Ukrainian matter has been on Joe Biden and attempting to um, smear him. But at another level, um, the fact that this weakened Ukraine at the time they were at war with Russia has been a little bit lost. Uh, Adam Schiff certainly says it, that, that America's national security was, was breached as a result of it. But... Um, the other side of this is that Trump, again, in terms of his shadow foreign policy, uh, may have been killing two birds with one stone. He may have been um, trying to take out his, um, his political rival, 
but also who was the big winner. The big winner was Vladimir Putin. So um, here we stand. It is not much different from 2016. Um, will these conditions prevail or will these senators stand up and find their courage and their patriotism and put country first? We'll see, won't we? We'll see. Thank you for tuning in.